loving truth. We're looking at the Psalms of Ascent, 15 Psalms, beginning at 120, going through 134. And there are two of the 15 Psalms that are very short. Most of them are short, but there are two that are only three verses long. And here's one of them, Psalm 131. Remember, these were songs that the pilgrims would sing as they traveled from home to Jerusalem for the great festivals. Listen to this song of David, a song of ascent. My heart is not proud. Lord, my eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have calmed and quieted my soul. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. By the way, if you ever have to memorize a psalm, here's a very good one, and it only has three verses. You could say, I memorized an entire psalm. But the key of this particular psalm is that David talks about pride in verse 1, and he basically talks about humility in verse 2. And the key word, weaned, I am like a weaned child. What does that mean? Well, when a mother weans her child, that means that the child that has been totally dependent upon the mother now has to go it alone to some extent. Obviously, they're still dependent, but they're not getting their sustenance from their mother, from the mother's body, but they're now getting the sustenance um, from the mother from other sources. Or perhaps the word weaned means the child is more on their own and actually leaving, maybe going off to school and leaving the presence of the parent, the mother, for a period of time. Weaning is to break off an utterly dependent relationship to change its dynamic. And I imagine this is a traumatic experience for a child. I can just imagine how children would cry when they don't have what they're so used to coming from their mother. It's not easy to be weaned. Someone said that all of life is a series of weanings. So you leave home and go to school uh, you graduate from high school and you go to college, you're weaned away from living at home. Uh, and then you marry and you're weaned away from the authority of your parents. And then you have children and you're weaned away from independence. On and on it goes. Life is a series of weanings. Here, David apparently was rather haughty and proud, but then he was weaned from it. There must have been, been some type of harrowing, shocking situation. It seems as David was taken from pride and became humble by a circumstance that rad radically changed his life. And that is how God often works. He'll allow situations to come into our life far beyond our ability. Actually, God has been helping us all the time, but we thought we were doing some of these things on our own. And then the Lord shows us, we can't do anything on our own. We need his strength. After it's all said and done, David says, my heart is not proud anymore. <laughs> Lord, my eyes, they're not lifted up in arrogance. And I will not concern myself with matters too great or too wonderful for me. So maybe he did, again, thinking that he had the ability to take care of these situations. But I have quieted, calmed, weaned, humbled my soul. And get this, I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. So still near his mom, but not totally dependent upon his mom. And now there is a sense of contentment. It was said that this was a liturgy that Israel often read when they were actually entering into the temple. It's good for us to get a picture of what we are not, maybe what we once were, but what we are not, and by the grace of God, what we are now. 
John Stott said, this is one of the shortest Psalms to read, but one of the longest to learn. <laughs> it's a Psalm of experience. And God will take us through those tough times to wean us from ourselves and all the things that we depend upon so we can learn to trust him and him alone. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, may we have a humble heart. And when we fear you, that means we recognize how great you are and how we must bow before you as the sovereign king of the universe. O Lord Jesus Christ, guide our lives for your glory and wean us from pride. In Jesus' name, amen.